Good evening everybody and a warm welcome to Barringer on this Saturday evening and today um, I have um, some new additions to show you and a layout update for you and um, it's going to be um, the Moorwood nuclear flask terminal so that's something different but first of all we're going to start with the new additions um, something that isn't really quite associated with um, Behringer as such is um, you might have caught a glimpse of it just sitting to the bottom left of you and that is this rather colourful Arriva Trains 2 car DMU which I picked up this week it's from Batman and um, I'm I have to say, after my class 50s, I think um, these little two-car units, um, DMUs, EMUs, are probably come up on my favourites because they're so user-friendly. I just, I just love them, and I love the fact that they can just go anywhere around the layout, and they just go into any sort of nooks and crannies. And um, it's a bit modern for me, in in truth, but. To be, to, to be honest with you, I've just always loved this class 115 and I've been oohing and ahhing over it. And currently, um, a lot of these um, two car units um, are going around about the £150 mark or so, around that sort of price. Um, you can pick them up cheaper from eBay second hand than used. Um, I did actually see um, another one exactly the same as this, the um, Arriva two car DMU used for £90. Um, but this particular one I've managed to get um, brand new for 94 which I thought was a, was a real bargain considering how much they go for um, new so this was a real real bargain um, I've had it about I don't know three or four days and I, I just love I love running it um, the camera isn't actually picking it up because it's actually shown as blue but it's really is like a turquoisey greeny color um, it says Cardiff on one end and Shrewsbury on the other end it's really pretty, it runs really smooth and um, I'm glad to have it on my layout even if it doesn't quite fit I have actually been toying with possibly building a new layout um, specifically for this in terms of maybe doing a little mini DCC layout um, but um, for now it's it's going to be running on Behringer for the foreseeable future um, Today I went to the Alton Model Railway Show um, which is my local um, one of my model, model railway group and I picked up a couple of bits there and one of them is um, basically if I spin you around is this Lima Regional Railways Class 156 now I've had three versions of this and I keep coming back to them um, for whatever reason, I bought I bought the first one, then I sold it, and then I bought another one because I liked it, and then I sold it again, and now I bought this one again, and hopefully this one will actually stay with me. Um, and this one is absolutely in excellent condition. It's also had some detail work done to it, um, and picked out so like the lights at the front have been picked out. I mean, if there isn't any light into it, I mean, you could go to Olivia's Trains and actually um, have sound and lighting fitted to them because I have seen them running around. Um, but the thing is about this particular one is is actually the price. Um, currently, um, the cheapest one I've seen on eBay even today was fifty quid, and um, and these things really do hold their price well because um, when I originally bought my original one, it was roughly about fifty quid. So, but I've actually picked this one up at the unbelievable price of just twenty two pounds for a two car unit. And it's, and it's in spotless condition, there really isn't anything wrong with it and it runs sweet as well. And I'm really, really am pleased and again, like I said, I love my two car units. And um, So there's another two um, added to the collection. And if we pop over to platform one, we've got my first generation DMU in the NSC livery, um, just sitting here on platform one. And I've got my 101 sitting up at New Shot and I've also got a blue grey version um, of the 108 also. So here we are at the Moorwood end and basically um, we're now going to be talking about 
I've got another new addition to show you, but it is actually related to um, what I'm doing at the moment, which is the Morewood nuclear flask transfer terminal. That's a bit of a mouthful. And one piece of rolling stock news is I originally had this one, number nine, and yesterday I purchased number 21. So I've now got two. I am considering getting possibly one more because I know they do run in up to four. Sometimes they run one on their own, sometimes they run in twos. And so they've sort of generally max, I think, is about four I've seen. So I've been studying um, the photographs um, and doing some research on it um, quite a lot recently. And it's something that isn't modelled on a lot of layouts. And um, the thing is with that is um, it's actually a nice a nice thing to model because it doesn't take up a lot of room and the inspiration for this has actually come from my two class 56s because I was wondering what I was going to run with it and if I run a merry-go-round train it's just going to be too long as well as the press flow ones and it's going to be quite expensive so what I've decided to do is to create a nuclear transfer terminal and the 56s would be able to pull these but my latest new acquisition will also be able to do the job and sit perfectly with it and if I just pan out slightly, it's another modern piece of equipment. Well, it's not the actual loco isn't modern, but it's in a modern livery. And it's a DRS star, old compass livery, class 37 by Backman. And it is 37405. Um, and she sits absolutely perfectly with these two um, nuclear flask wagons. But also I have my two class 56s, my blue one and my, um, what, I think it's oyster mouth, I think I have the Ralph Ray Grey with red stripe. So if we move on to what I'm actually going to, what I'm proposing is obviously as you can probably see just to the left there is an actual board. It's been extended out and basically where this 37 is I'm going to be putting a point that's going to run across here and basically we are going to be putting um, the nuclear transfer terminal here and this has been the sum of my afternoon's work really is basically adding this section and this is basically another 10 inches across um, by 4 feet in length and basically here in front of you are a couple of bits um, that will aid me in my construction and my Leyland da uh, my DAF which I bought from um, Base Toys um, you'll see from some of the pictures they use low loaders to um, offload some of these um, nuclear flask um, containers and things so I was just possibly thinking I might, since I've got this to hand that I may be able to convert it or do something with it and I'll show you with some of the photographs that I've managed to get pictured um, another thing that I've bought is a ratio kit um, it is ratio kit number Five, four, six. I haven't actually attempted to open it or build it yet. Well, actually, I have opened it, but I haven't started building it or anything. I'm a little bit daunted by this one, actually, because I haven't really built a ratio kit before. So I don't know how easy they are. But it's the closest thing and the recommended thing to use for um, for the oil terminal. Uh, sorry, for the nuclear flask transfer terminal. And I would, like I said, the, the pictures will kind of show you what I'm actually getting at. Um, this is a piece of... Um, um, card, scenery card that came with this month's magazine of um, I think it's BRM and I was just kind of testing it in terms of could it work or could it be used so but I don't think so also you've probably noticed now that the tunnel doesn't actually go anywhere anymore um, I found that it's what it's going to be an easier option actually to get everything to run from the other side um, so what we're going to do is this is actually just going to be the tunnel is actually going to be at like a head shunt a disguised head shunt really and also I can use this for I think it's probably two only two card DMUs can go in there also um, and make it out like that's going off somewhere I don't think it will fit a free car I haven't really tried a free car but maybe a free car unit might go in there too so that's how that's going to be disguised but I think it's going to be work out well in the end once I've done my little magic to it hopefully so um, that's the plans and that's what I'm proposing to do and um, stay tuned if you are interested and I hope you like my new additions and I hope you like my new plans. Um, please feel free to comment and subscribe um, and also just before I go um, I'm off holidays at the end of February for two weeks but I'm not actually going anywhere but I'm actually going to do some work on the layout and there's going to be some major 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 changes 
Um, hopefully it won't destroy the character of the layout because it's still essentially going to remain the same but the track configuration is going to change quite drastically um, so stay tuned for that also um, so take care and bye for now